Great. So, you've taken our banana, we've drawn our banana to show the different body parts and different regions. The stab wounds are, and you've described where, using technical terms, where these stab wounds are. Here's the next thing I'd like you to do. You each have a, um, a knife, a plastic butter knife. I want you to use your plastic butter knife to make sections. Let's start with just one section for now. On your first section, um, on your first section, what I'd like you to do is cut, make a section either, it's either going to be sagittal, front, or transverse. Make one section that includes the stab wound. Whatever is re useful and relevant for your banana. Make one cut, one clean cut for all the way through. That includes the stab wound. Just any part of it, any part of it. So hopefully you've decided what cut makes sense for you. See this thing sheet here, which is this right here? On this sheet of paper, what I'd like you to do is indicate what your first cut was, whether it was a transverse or mid-sagittal, or sagittal, could, could be parasagittal too, or a frontal section. Indicate which section you did, because it might not be, so it's going to be one of these three. And color in where you see the, the stab wound, the dye, where, where, the, um, where the wound was made. It might be at the edge, it might be somewhere in the middle. Whatever it is, I want you to indicate on your section, on your uh, paper, where it is. So I did first. Yeah. That's all right. Label the type of section that you made as well. No parasagittal, frontal, transverse. <laughs> Yeah. 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 You've made one section. I want you to just kind of piece the body back together. I want you to make one more section. I know it says to make three here. We're just going to do two. We're going to simplify this. I want you to make one more section different from the one that you just did. So if you did a mid sectional, do either a frontal or a horizontal. Or if you did frontal, do horizontal or sagittal. Make one more section and try and include the wound. 
Yeah. You also do the same thing, stack it on that sheet. scratch paper you wrote where, where the wounds were on the outside of the body. I want you to imagine that there are organs in this banana. I want you to describe what's been damaged on the inside of the body. Organs, membranes, anything that's relevant down in pelvic regions, whatever's relevant here, I want you to describe, yeah, to describe what's been damaged. Don't write it on that scratch paper for not on Write it on scratch paper for now. As detailed as you can. What organs, what cavities, what membranes have been damaged? Describe in great detail.
All right, so um, if you're done with your bananas, uh, if you've described it and you don't and you know what you need, you can toss those. I wouldn't recommend eating it. Oh, do not throw away the knives. Just clean them, wipe them down, and put it in the back of the room. Please do not throw away the knives. You need them for the next class. Um, here's what I'd like you to do. Your goal is to make a poster describing top seed. You're gonna write the name of your banana, write your names of the people in your group. If, if someone's not here today, they're not here today. Just write down who's here today. So write down the people who name your group, write down the name of the banana. You're gonna you're gonna paste your sheets of paper. So here's that sheet in your superficial description and you're describing. The wound, and then also you're describing your you made two section, not three. You're describing your two cuts, whether it's transverse or sagittal or frontal, and what organs were damaged. There is glue and markers at the back. I want you to, to use marker and write nice and big. I want you to I want I want people to be able to see this clearly because this is going up in the hallway. So yeah, yeah. So. Go nuts with the artistic part of it, but at least as long as it's nice and clear, that's what I'm looking for. So once again, there, is, there are markers. There's glue in the back. There are markers and glue in the back. It's only so much glue, so please share. You need a ruler? The ruler's over here. Oh, no, I meant like I'm on a chalkboard. Oh, I can kind of do it. No, Look yeah, you're, re you're really good. Look I'm not. But that's not like after you've been practicing this for a while. Have you seen my actual writing? It's terrible. Like, I, I can write on the board here. fine. I can't write on uh, paper. paper? No. I have to see this. <laughs> I, have never, I, have I can't write on the board. All right, because you always turn in your papers on digital. Yep. So you have to see it. Thank you. I gave my comments on that. I can type fine. I can type really fast. See, it's definitely good. I gave you great. I really did. I did it all of my own. I did it all of my own. 